and I have been joined by two very beautiful ladies representing the Miss Cayman Islands Universe pageant. Joining me is Miss Derry Lee Dacres and Miss Mariah Tibbetts. Morning, ladies. Good morning. Good morning. How are you ladies doing this morning? I see one fabulous crown in the room. Where things are going? <laughs> Where could that be? I, 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 mean... I don't know. It must be on somebody's head. <laughs> morning, I, ladies. Good morning. I'm doing amazing. I definitely cannot complain. Happy to be here today. How about you? We can, I'm happy that you ladies are here. I never want to complain when there are more <laughs> ladies in the room. Thanks now, for having us. Thank you, man. You're more than welcome. Now, we're talking about Miss Cayman Islands Universe, of which, Mara, you are or reigning Miss Cayman Islands Universe. How has your experience been over? Has it been a year or has it been more considering the world climate? So it's actually only been seven months at this point. Okay. So the reigning queen last year, Miss Khadija Bodden, I was her first runner up actually in 2019. Okay. And because we couldn't have a pageant in 2020, then she passed the crown down to me since I was her first runner up. So I got the crown last year in September, 2020. Mm -hmm. So it's been seven months now. And then I will give my current crown up now again later this year to a new girl. What has it been like wearing that crown for the last seven months? Well, first let me start off by saying in terms of what it's like actually wearing it, the crown is not that heavy. That's, <laughs> that's my number one question I always get. Good, it's... good <laughs> point. So for you young, young ladies out there who may be considering the crown isn't heavy, right? You're right. Good. That's the biggest selling point. But you know they do say heavy is the head that wears a crown. It wow. is, wow. yes. Okay. Now tell me more. Tell me more about your seven month long experience. Yes, it's been so amazing. I mean, a wild ride, so much fun. I've done almost, this month will make over a hundred events that I've gone to, a like hundred events and appearances. And that's stuff that I want to do. You know, I've never right. complained. I've never said no to anyone who reached out. I love being in my community, being an ambassador, meeting as many people as I can. That was one of the biggest, biggest attractions to me of this title. Right. I've gotten to go to Cayman Brac several times. You and that did. was one thing that I said at the beginning of my reign. I said, I really so want- you've been yeah. able to travel. Well, just to Cayman Brac. <laughs> <laughs> but I have been in a plane, yes, so. Right. Amazing. <laughs> Amazing. A blessing. Because you know that that's one of the major aspects of representing your country, right? Being able to travel um, to other countries and really and truly represent. Absolutely. Now that has been made quite difficult because of the Corona Lona, right? <laughs> but you still managed to, to jump on a plane and 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 show off the crown and yeah. all abilities. Yes. No. Now, from the reigning Miss Cayman Islands Universe, Mariah, tell me what are some of the qualities that you think are most important for someone who will be wearing the crown just after you. So give your recommendations basically to the individuals now considering opting in to this here Miss Cayman Islands Universe pageant. Absolutely, there's so many qualities that I think a Miss Cayman Islands Universe should have. Firstly, and most importantly, like Miss Derry said, we're looking for a role model for our country. So I think you need to be passionate and love the Cayman Islands. I mean, you're representing them in everything that you do. So that's definitely one of the major, major things. And you have to be confident. And I will say with confidence, if you're not the most confident, per confident person in the world already, don't let that stop you because right. through the process, you gain the confidence Indeed. and that agree. should be part of the journey is growing and becoming your best self. Definitely. She should also be very respectful, very humble, very intelligent. I mean, even if you haven't accomplished all of your maybe schooling goals, one of the prizes that you get as being Miss Cayman Islands Universe is a scholarship. So, exactly. you know, someone with goals, someone with aspirations, someone with passions, right. we actually have as contestants and as the title holder, we have a platform. So a different advocacy we, we support every year. Mine for this year is Cancer Awareness and Support. Last year, Khadija Bodden's was climate change. Mm -hmm. And the list goes on and on. So someone who just is passionate about a, a meaningful cause someone who wants to make a difference in the world and i know all of those things sound kind of cliche right, and out right. there and like how do i do that but just be yourself and think about the things that matter to you mm -hmm. and if you love k-man if you want to put yourself out there if you want to learn and grow and be a better person then i think this is the role for you you know that is amazing to hear and you touched on a couple of points that i want to explore a little bit more now you did mention that you basically don't have to be perfect to up right. into this journey right mm -hmm, absolutely. you have to come with a few critical uh, talents but you have an opportunity to learn, you have an opportunity to grow. So if any of you young ladies out there may be intimidated by this particular crown, it also for you could be a great learning experience. Mara, tell me about some of the training opportunities that you've had while during your reign. 
Wow, I have so many training opportunities. Definitely, of course, what people I think think of first when they hear training is the catwalk training, the runway training, right. and that that part is definitely there, and that it's very can be fun. Rather hilarious. <laughs> My mother was a stroke coach in Jamaica. I remember as a little boy just hanging around her, watching these girls <laughs> trying to walk and high heels. And boy, oh boy! Yeah, if you see <laughs> where we start to where we end, it's yes. hilarious. It really yes. is. And then there's also interview Q and A prep and training, <coughs> and that part is really important too because we are looking for a good communicator, someone who can, like I said, represent the Cayman Islands verbally. Mm -hmm physically everything we also have physical training of course you know working out going to the gym eating healthy all of that is a part of it but even more than that things that people don't think of i think are wardrobe and styling training mm -hmm. you know you have to look good wherever you go and that doesn't mean you have to be in a gown everywhere you go but you should be presenting your best self and that's the the main part of looking good to me and then there's also, you know, styling training in terms of makeup, in terms of hair. We do etiquette training. We right. do public speaking training. I mean, the list goes on and on. Uh, and we also oh, offer yes. Ladies, absolutely. Thank you for coming in this morning. Thank you for sharing some time. Uh,